So today, now that I've had you practicing to throw bottles, and this one is the one I did on the video demo, uh, where it's a little pitcher, I gotta show you how to trim this. Because if you try to put it on the wheel head like you did in Ceramics 1, one, you'll see that it's angled funny because of the rim that I made on it. And there's not much here to hold it for trimming with the balls of clay attaching it to the wheel head. There's just not enough area. So we're gonna use a trimming chuck. Trimming chuck is a best fired piece of clay that you, it looks like the start of a cup, thicker at the bottom. And we have multiple of, the, of these in the lab. You can always make your own by throwing a piece of clay and then keep it leather hard and then put it on the wheel each time rather than having to biscuit. But if you need to make a chuck, make one, sign the bottom, and then we'll biscuit for you, and then it'll be ready for your bottle trimming. So I'm just gonna put the chuck on the wheel head, and then I'm gonna take some bigger balls of clay, and we're gonna stick it on just like we've been doing our smaller pieces of clay. We're doing it tripodally, so. And let's, I didn't check, so let's go ahead and check right now. That, that chuck is actually pretty centered, so should be okay. Uh, sometimes the clay won't stick to the chuck um, if it, the clay's too dry, so you might need to spritz it. I'm gonna put this in the chuck, and now, now I'm gonna see that it's pretty close to center. And sometimes I use a level to check with the little bubbles to see if it's level. Uh, today I'm not worrying about it. I'm just gonna do it with my fingers and feel just like when we do our bowls. Right there's a little bit higher. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna take my balls of clay and attach it just like I did those on the wheel head. Now I'm attaching them to the piece. I'm a little bit short on clay, so let's use this one. Okay, so now we trim it just like um, you guys were trimming cylinders in ceramics one. So, grabbing my trimming tools. So start like normal, flatten the bottom. Make sure the tools are clean so you don't drag and cause things to twist. Sometimes chucks will pop off the wheel just like cylinders. So you'll see me wiping this tool to keep it clean. Now I didn't tap this yet. I normally tap these to check where they're at after I clean them up. So I'm going to clean that edge a little bit. Now I knew this from the throwing video that this is really thin here so I can't dig too much there. And there's more weight here which is normal on a bottle. Usually the bottom inch of the bottle is pretty thick to help hold the shape. So we get the speed going, take the corner of the tool, and then make my foot ring. And bevel the edge a little bit. And then run my finger on it, smooth it out. Then I'm gonna take my other trimming tool and start removing some of this excess weight. And the sound now, a lot thinner right here now. So now I'm gonna keep the curve of, this, of the bottle. I wanna keep this part rounded. So it matches. And then let up gently like normal right here. Run my finger on here, my thumbs, and my fingers to smooth it out. Make sure like this clay has sand in it, I'm pushing the sand back in. Okay, so this is pretty much done. Now, before I take it off, I'm gonna go ahead and sign it. And it's, it's pretty light, so 
So it doesn't need, didn't need much trimming, but you can see how it continues the shape of this curve, rounded. I'm gonna run my thumb across the part that sticks out a little bit just to smooth it out. And then when I glaze fire it, most of that you won't see. And I still gotta put a handle on this here so then I can use this for pouring. That's one of the reasons I wanna make sure that there's plenty of weight removed because this is gonna hold a liquid, it's gonna get heavier. And if you leave it too heavy, then it's gonna be hard to pick it up to pour and it's gonna bother people's wrists. So you gotta always take in factor cups and other things with handles that you're gonna have liquid in have to be the right weight or else they're gonna to be too heavy for people to use unless they're into weight lifting. Okay, so that's our trimming demo for how to trim a bottle using a chuck.